Hey, what's up guys? It's Lilbo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And I got one question for you, okay? I want you to really think this over, okay? I don't care if you've never played the original Modern Warfare trilogy before, but think about it like this, okay? Was this current Modern Warfare trilogy a failure compared to the past Modern Warfare trilogy with COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 compared to Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2 2022, and Modern Warfare 3 2023? Because recently I saw a post asking the Call of Duty community if the new Modern Warfare 3 trilogy was a failure. Because I'm not gonna lie, if we really look back on it without having nostalgia block our view and thoughts about it, right? Realistically, the original Modern Warfare game for both trilogies, the first game in both trilogies, Modern Warfare 2019 and COD 4, were both really good games that were, I would say, game-changing for Call of Duty. It changed the landscape of the game, how it was played, and it added an influx of new players, right? That's what both COD 4 did and Modern Warfare 2019 did. Then with Modern Warfare 2 from 2009 and Modern Warfare 2 2022, right? They were both technically bad Call of Duties. If you really look into the history of Modern Warfare 2 2009 and the amount of glitches, the amount of exploits, the amount of crazy broken stuff that was in that game, and the fact there was supposed to be a final patch that never came out, that was going to fix everything is insane to look back on because yes, it was a fun game to play, but realistically, if Modern Warfare 2 2009 were to release in today's day and age, I don't think it would be as successful as Modern Warfare 3 2023 and or the previous Call of Duties and or be even liked at all. I feel like a lot of people are blinded by nostalgia when it comes to that game, but it's for a good reason because the game is so iconic for certain things that were quote unquote broken, that were glitches, that were insane to even put into a game. That's what made it fun. But but with how hard people critique games in the modern era, if Modern Warfare 2 2009 came out now, it would not have the same aura, reception, the same feeling, you know what I'm saying? But also with the new Modern Warfare trilogy, Modern Warfare 2 2022 was horrible as well. Remember, that was one of the worst CODs of today. It was worse than Vanguard, honest to God, bro. Talking about straight gameplay, it's worse than Vanguard. Just like these people, holy crap. Uh, yeah, it's 10v10, by the way. But yeah, like both trilogies had really bad sequels, right? Or Modern Warfare 2 games. But for some reason, both sequels, third game, Modern Warfare 3, was somewhat better gameplay-wise and better received in the community. But overall, I don't think the new trilogy is actually that bad other than Modern Warfare 2 2022. And if you really look into the original trilogy, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2 from 2009, and Modern Warfare 3, they all follow the same premise of the first game being really good and groundbreaking and like pivotal for Call of Duty as an entire franchise. And then the second game being comparably worse to the first one and not well received. And then the third game being somewhat better and more received better. But I think it's really unfair to kind of say that the new trilogy for Modern Warfare games is bad when we are blinded by nostalgia with Modern Warfare 2. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I just left that game, by the way. I just, I'm not dealing with that, bro. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. Out of the two trilogies that we got in the six games that we got, out of all those six, only one game is realistically bad and actually received fairly bad, right? Fairly poorly, right? And that's Modern Warfare 2 2022. All the other Modern Warfare games from both trilogies are actually received well other than that one game. And I really don't think and or agree with the statement that the new Modern Warfare trilogy is a failure, okay? And the reason is, is because Modern Warfare 2019 brought in an influx of new players. If you want to count Warzone, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of helped a lot. Modern Warfare 2019 revolutionized and changed how Call of Duty's played. They added movement, right? Where movement's now a huge thing in Call of Duty that everyone wants in every new Call of Duty, right? That wants to be fast, wants to be X, Y, Z, right? Modern Warfare 2 did nothing. It just, it held it back. But Modern Warfare 3 added like, really great post-launch support that we had not seen in literal years. So the only time I really saw, from a player's perspective, the new Modern Warfare 3 trilogy be a failure is when Modern Warfare 2 2022 came out. Dude, where are they, man? Oh, let me pop off real quick. And even looking back at, you know... Let's say the original Modern Warfare trilogy, bro. Those games were revolutionary as well. 
Sniper. Oh, fuck. Like, all those games from the original trilogy had their own flaws and pros and cons and all that shit. But, like, I truly do believe that because it, you know, it's the, mainly the game that we all grew up on, right? Or the games that we grew up on, that we are blinded by this kind of nostalgia, which is fair because that's what we grew up on. But if all those games were to drop today, right? In the same system, the same gameplay, right? The only thing changing is when they drop. I don't think any of those games would be received as well as Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 3, right? I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a, like a streak going on here. These guys, snipers and shotguns, bro. It's so annoying. Oh my God, I just got collat. Did I just get collat? Oh my God. I thought I got triple collided. Holy shit. I was freaking scared, bro. Oh my God, bro. I thought I just got a Jev in Modern Warfare 3, bro. Where he got tripled collided, bro. I was scared, dude. Holy shit. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've just been chilling on Modern Warfare 3. Like I've been playing with viewers, even with friends, IRL from college, right? Literally war zone anything, dude. But yeah, I'm literally playing this game until the wheels fall off realistically. And that's going to be for like another like three weeks. So we got a lot more time left before Black Ops 6. But I'm excited, man. I'm excited for Black Ops 6 still. I'm glad that they did update the game. And I'm not going to lie, guys. There's already been so much drama from the last drama alert, the COD drama alert series that I got to make a second video already. So that's probably going to be Sunday's video. No. Damn, we just dominated this entire lobby, bro. Why is there a level 32, bro? It's like I'm two boxing. Oh, we just got tripled again, bro. From a shotgun, no less, bro. What the hell? I'm literally getting clipped left and right, dude. But yeah, I'm excited, though. I am really excited for... Black Ops 6, man. But honestly, I don't really think that the new Modern Warfare trilogy was a fail. Like, obviously, it wasn't as big and successful as the original. I really don't think that this new trilogy of Modern Warfare games was really a failure. It's just more of the fact that Call of Duty back then is not the same Call of Duty that we have now. And the audience is different. The player base is different. The developers are different, man. And that plays a huge factor in how games are made, how they are post-launch, etc., etc., man. And I think we really do see a lot of that within the campaign because the storytelling in the original Modern Warfare trilogy is flawless, bro. Everything kind of makes sense. There's no ass pulls that I remember straight off the top of my head. There's nothing stupid at all that makes you like, what the hell, like, you know. And then comparing the original Modern Warfare trilogy's campaign to what we have now, it's like you're looking at an A-plus student to a complete failure as an educational student. The new Modern Warfare trilogy campaign, and I know a lot of people don't care about campaigns, but not gonna lie, the new Modern Warfare 3 trilogy literally killed campaigns. The storytelling in all the new Modern Warfare games makes no sense, bro. And before Modern Warfare 3 came out, when Modern Warfare 3's campaign was early access and everyone was playing it, it was one of the shortest and most confusing campaigns that made no sense, there was no substance, and it was heavily hated on, bro, for all the right reasons. It wasn't just like, you know, over hating etc etc it was literally all hate that was based off of like good facts and reasoning dude but yeah i'm gonna end off the video here guys if you guys enjoyed drop a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and let me know which modern warfare trilogy was better the original or the new one are these guys using shotguns flash done what the fuck